In medieval times, the Scandinavians described swimming dragons, and the Vikings placed carved dragons on the front of their ships to scare off the sea monsters. Hans Egede, missionary to Greenland, was known to keep a meticulous recording of natural observations. He documented a sea monster which he saw off the coast in 1734. A well-publicized serpent-like sea monster sighting was made by the crew and officers of HMS Daedalus in August of 1848. The creature they saw measured approximately 60 feet long and sported a mane on its head. Numerous other such stories have been recorded from the great age of sailing ships from 1500 to 1900 AD when men traversed the ocean without the noise of modern powered vessels. Two swimming dragons are mentioned by name in scripture. First, there is the sea monster called Rahab. Then there is the ferocious Leviathan. Psalm 104, 25 to 26 says, So is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. Psalm 148, 7 instructs, Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps. These awe-inspiring reptiles should cause us to contemplate the power of our great Creator and give Him glory. The evidence is compelling that some of the great reptiles survived near inhabited areas and were known as dragons. Evolutionary zoologist Desmond Morris conceded, In the world of fantastic animals, the dragon is unique. It is as though there was once a whole family of different dragon species that really existed before they mysteriously became extinct. Indeed, as recently as the 17th century, scholars wrote of dragons as though they were scientific fact, their anatomy and natural history being recorded in painstaking detail. By the 19th century, dragons had largely been wiped out by expanding civilizations. Men viewed them as a threat and hunted them down, both to safeguard new lands for settlement and to prove their dominance. The changing ecosystems and rise of colonial empires drove many species, including most of the great reptiles, into extinction. And so ended the historical age of dragons and men.